Good evening, everyone. We have already talked about the architecture of Kubernetes that we discussed. And today I'm again with the same architecture that I created and explained. But today it's not about the architecture, it's about the flow, how things happen, how components talk to each other. And uh, before I start, let me uh, recall a few things for you guys. For example, we had these four components in Masternode, Control Manager, API Server, Scheduler, etc. That was the database. And we had three components which runs in all the uh, worker nodes, Kubelet, Proxy, and Container Runtime. And here it's Docker for us. All right, so we had seven components, four here and three here. Okay, it's the general architecture of the Kubernetes. If we talk about the cloud, we do have control manager of like many kinds. We talked about that already, like node controller, replication controller. We also have a cloud controller manager. Okay, because uh, when we deploy Kubernetes as managed services in cloud, there are a lot of things that Kubernetes cluster leverage from the cloud, for example, load balancers. All right, so API server, this, this is Kube API server. It's the component on the master that exposes the Kubernetes API. That said is a data store, it's a key value store used as a Kubernetes backing store for all the cluster data. Cube scheduler, uh, it watches newly created pods that have uh, no node assigned and selects a node for them to run on. It schedules the pod basically. Then we have control manager, which is responsible for controlling various aspects, including uh, uh, node controllers responsible when node goes down and things like that. Okay, then we have uh, Kubelet, Kube Proxy, which is a which takes care of the networking thing for the pods and containers. Container runtime is, uh, you know, container engine like a Docker or a Rocket. Okay, so this is this is a basic uh, understanding. I just revised the things. Now let's suppose an administrator sits here. Here we have an administrator, and he runs a command, okay, like kubectl run pod or kubectl uh, create or apply the manifest file for the pod. Then what happens? This is that flow we are going to understand today. So what actually happens when it have when administrator runs such a command, it always goes to the API server. Okay, this is number one point. And we already know these components do not talk to each other, they always talk to API server. And API server is the only one which talk to the ad set, which is the database. So once the request comes to the API server, uh, it's the responsibility of API server to authorize or authenticate the request. Once the user is authenticated and authorized, it sends the information to Edset. Okay, like this is what is going to create, and Edset replies once the data is stored. Then API server send that information to the scheduler to find out which node we gotta use to create a pod on. So this would be second, this would be third, this would be fourth. Okay. Scheduler have all the information and it provide the information to the API. Then API server talk to the kubelet and kubelet talks to invokes the docker so that it can run the pod and once this is succeeded 
it will again send the message back to the API server. Once this is done, API server again send the message to the etz. Okay, so that's how it done. That's four. This is five. This is six. When oh, this is five and this is six. When it gets back to the API server, this is seven. When it's stored to the etz and etz again send the confirmation to the API. That is eight. So that is the basic flow how components talk to each other what exactly happens okay so that's all about it this is all i want to talk about the flow in this video and basically uh we are going to work on uh, managed services that is aks we all know that uh these are the few videos that i'm doing just for the basic understanding of the kubernetes okay but uh, when we work with AKS or any managed services, we would not have the access or this is not our responsibility to take care of this part. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, this part, that is the master part. We'll be working on these, these parts and we don't even need to pay for it. This is absolutely free for us and we are only paying for the work notes okay well thank you for watching and you have a good day bye bye